you've gotten off of work or school and you sat down to game, you only have an hour or two and you cannot decide what to boot up and what to play. You sit there looking kung at your Steam no? library. So many wala tong Night Cross, nahihirapan din talaga mag-decide kung anong lalaroin eh. Sabarang dami kasing choice boss. Yun ang main Steam. reason dyan kung bakit <coughs> ang hirap maglaro. Magkanap na ng laro. Sales pass <coughs> or maybe Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, wherever you play and you just cannot decide what to put the time into. You know this one hour is precious. You know you need it to recharge your batteries because school, work, whatever it is, is coming again tomorrow. You end up staring at the screen and eventually just pull up YouTube, binge, and then your hour's gone and you kind of feel horrible. Why does this happen? And I want to talk with you about it because this has been happening to me recently. Is it the fact that you're getting older? Is it nostalgia? Well, I'm going to sort of break down my thoughts and opinions on this. Now, I've been pretty, pretty sleep deprived lately. I've started working nights, everything's super expensive. And so my time for gaming in the last three weeks has been very compressed. And I literally have gone through the scenario I just described, where I know I've got an hour available. It's a precious hour. And yet I cannot figure out for the life of me what to boot up. I want to get the Dota, maximum no? enjoyment. <laughs> Out of this Pag hindi ka na mga pili ng laro, so <coughs> mga single player, magdodota ka na lang talaga yung mga mababilis laruin. Yung di na masyadong pagpipilian talaga. Dota talaga eh. Nakakamiss MH. Ano MH? As such, when I look at the list of games, I begin putting a bunch of pressure on myself. And that pressure makes me even less motivated as I'm sleep deprived to ultimately make a choice. Sometimes when we're presented with way too many choices, oh, it's been shown dyan, pag sobrang dami that our human dyan. psychology just gets overloaded. Hindi katulad dati ng PlayStation lang, kung ano lang bala mo, lalaroin mo eh. Paralysis. And for many people, you've been gaming okay, a man. long time, your library can get big very quickly. It doesn't mean that you don't enjoy games or that you just don't know how to have fun anymore. It just means that the pressure is overwhelming you, especially when you're tired. You know, you don't want to take a chance of picking something that you don't enjoy or like. What if you wasted Quick. that one hour? And this leads us to indecision. Now, I used to play StarCraft II a lot. When I was in college, loved Halo. But at the time, Halo was being taken off of the MLG circuit around Halo 4 time. And around that same timing, StarCraft II was becoming the darling of... Uh, MLG and also Twitch. And and Justin Starcraft. TV at the time, and then ultimately it turned into Twitch. And I love Starcraft games, too. Mas okay but it is a game where you have to make hundreds. Anong category gusto mo? Minsan kasi kahit alam mo na yung category na gusto mo, napakadami pa rin choice. Eh. For example, sa MMO, pwede ka maglaro ng yan, Night Crows, Tarisland, M, ng Mirror 4. Napakadami talagang choice kahit anong category gusto mong laruin. Eh. Minecraft. Ang ano kasi, mas mahirap talaga ngayon Kung baga kasi ang la lahat ng laro parang maganda laruin eh. Kaso nga lang yun, magkasabay-sabay sila. Limited lang yung oras mo. Kaya ka nai-stress ko anong pipiliin mo. ...of choices every single minute. In fact, they measure the choices and the actions that you make in a term called APM. Actions per minute. And oh, crazy good pro yan, players games. will consistently play at like the 3 to 400 mark, sometimes jumping up. Now every action, you know, is considered like a click or a box or building a building, selecting a resource, but when you watch a talented pro, you really do see that they're making hundreds of decisions in such a small time frame. And you know what? A lot of times they make the wrong decision. When they're under such immense pressure in a game like StarCraft, COC, alam nyo na yung issue si, uh, COC. Bukas i-upload natin yung issue COC about the censorship. Bukas pa yun mga boss. Pero COC, oh, maganda rin naman yung COC. Pero sa ngayon boss, as content creator COC, May issue dyan eh. VR games maganda para nasa harap. <laughs> Sit there and think <laughs> and debate really what is the right choice. Ultimately, they're having to go with their gut reaction. And I learned when I was playing StarCraft 2, sometimes you just have to make a choice. Whether or not it's the right choice oh, doesn't mo always matter. Ano gusto mo laruin. Dun mo yung oras mo boss eh. Making a choice is the right choice and sticking with it. Even if that decision led to me like skimming my marine army into a bunch of banelings and losing the game, it was still better that I made a choice rather than sitting in indecision because I probably would have lost the game either way. I've been doing YouTube now for 
10 years, over 10 years, actually. I started in Live college. Dead. And one oh. thing I have learned, and that's something I need to hear regularly, and I hope you hear this too, stop putting unfair pressure on yourself and on your free time. If you want to play a game, just boot anything up. There isn't a wrong choice. Seriously, maybe you didn't pick the ultimate perfect selection and you didn't get the most enjoyment out of your hour. But just giving yourself some you time to recharge is what matters. Hey, and also, if you boot up the game and you don't feel like playing it and you want to just watch YouTube or whatever, go do that. You need to hear this. You're doing good. You need to be nicer to yourself. When oh, we uh, reach this point, we're no? putting so much pressure. Oh, 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 stress in kasi yun mo eh. Kapag di mo alam yung lalaroin mo, parang mas nakaka-stress yun eh. Yung, yung larong laro ka na, pero hindi mo alam yung lalaroin mo, misa na umay ka sa sakarit mong nalaro. Wala ang mamili ng bago. Nakaka-stress kaya yung ganun. You are probably at a stage Madali right pang now, ano like, na lang, you are YouTube stressed. na lang talaga. There is a bunch of stuff occupying all of your mind space. And literally the best thing you can do is some self-care. And to literally, when you have those thoughts of like, what if I'm wasting my time with this choice? Just push back right against it. Take that thought, throw it in the recycle bin of your mind. There's nothing wrong with going back to a comfort game, something you've played 10 times over, something that you love, something that you know gives you some enjoyment. At the same time too, Alaman, if you've got a big enjoyment. backlog... Daming choice panonood ng TikTok ang bagsak. <laughs> yun nga yung nakaka-stress dyan, boss eh. Meron kang limited na oras. For example, natrabaho ka. Siyempre sa umaga, automatic wala kasi babiyahe ka eh. So ang oras mo lang pagka mo, sabi nating one hour lang yung bahay mo. So five, six, naka ka na. Ngayon, meron ka pang ilang oras para maghanap ng game na gusto mong laruin. Kaso ang problema, boss, hindi ka nakahanap. Tapos nun... Naglaro, nag, nanood ka pa sa TikTok tsaka sa YouTube kaya lalong di ka nakapaglaro kaya lalo kang madidepress or may stress kasi isipin mo bukas trabaho na naman di ka man lang nakapaglaro maganda yung laro na solo lang boss wala kang kadamay sa <laughs> hindi maganda rin yung may kadaro boss mas para sa akin ha mas maganda rin na meron kang kadaro kasi yun dun pa lang meron ka ng interaction sa ibang tao meron din kasi yung talagang tunga nga ka lang sa TV kukontrolin mo lang yung karakter mo iba pa rin yung may kadaro ka screaming at you the game that's been nagging and you're like ah i just gotta finish this game you know i got 30 hours into it i feel really bad i didn't finish it everybody loved this game look if you want to go finish it sure but don't don't force yourself you're not having to write a book report on on a title like case in point i'm playing through elden ring oh, pa right pa right i've talked about it a few times on the channel i'm loving the second playthrough way more than the first time I thought the game was brilliant when I was playing it on the Xbox when it came out. But I wasn't looking up guides. I was getting overwhelmed and I, I stopped at the game. I'm not going to say exactly where, but pretty pretty far into the game. And I didn't feel motivated to pick it back up. But here I am looking at all these videos online about what an incredible, perfect, amazing, superb game it is. Feeling pressure like, oh man, what did I what did I do? I, I need to go back and finish it. I'm totally <laughs> missing out on all this stuff. <laughs> well, screw that, you know, unfair pressure. I, it took me two years to go, all right, now's the time I'm starting a fresh playthrough. And because I was at the spot where I wanted to, not because of social pressures or online hype or popularity, because I wanted to at the time, I've enjoyed that game 10 times more. Kailangan This is your enjoy. reminder. Be nicer to yourself. Yung game talaga kailangan mo ma-enjoy. Hindi dapat siya source ng stress. Eh. Yun talaga yung main reason ng laro eh. Enjoy. Kaso nga lang, <clears throat> maraming game kasi ngayon na yun nga, involve yung pera, lalo naman sa NFT space, yan. Web3 games. So, minsan, imbis na nai-enjoy mo na lang yung laro, minsan nai-stress ka kapag hindi ka nakakalot, pag nalulutan ka, ganun. Kaya nadadagdagan pa yung stress mo minsan. Pero wala nang problema dun. Kumbaga kasi, yan na yung technology natin ngayon. Hindi lang laro, possible ka na rin kumita. Yun nga lang, minsan, nagiging cost na ng stress yung paglalaro. Na dapat hindi naman. Don't worry about making the wrong choice and try and refill and recharge when you get the opportunity. I look at the audience demographics and the ages of my viewers, and I know these are periods of time where life is hard and stressful. Your responsibilities are growing exponentially. So many things are changing, whether you're fresh out of college or you're having a kid or something like that. A lot is changing. And so any opportunity you get 
to refill and recharge you should go for. As long as it doesn't disrupt, obviously, the really important things. And in many ways, this video is just as much me talking to you as it is me talking to myself to remind me that when I'm looking at that Steam library feeling guilty, I don't need that. Just boot something up that I love and run with it. So with all that said, I hope you have an awesome start to your weekend. Play something fun, recharge, do whatever. And we'll see you. May stress ka mo sa abe mo. Siya naman ang problema kapag eme mo. Pero pag solo ka kasi, boring din naman eh. Aminado na, it's your own go. Kung sa, sa akin ha, pag solo gaming kasi, lalo na sa mga RPG, parang nakaka-boring. Pwera na lang siguro yung Elden Ring talaga. Ang ganda ng Elden Ring. Kung kaya lang talaga ng PC ko yun, boss, talaga lalaroin ko siya eh. Kaso hindi talaga kaya. Pero sobrang ganda ng Elden Ring. Maraming, mag maraming magandang laro. Ngayon, yung struggle ko sa side ko kasi, hindi lang ano boss eh. Hindi lang dahil maraming laro. Dahil din maraming laro na hindi kaya ng PC ko habang nag stream So ini-stream ko kasi. Pero kung laro lang, I think kakayanin naman talaga ng PC ko. Kaya sabay ko lang yung passion ko ng paglalive sa pag -e enjoy ko. Kaya yun, hindi, ka, hindi talaga kaya yung pagsabayin. Hindi ka tulad nung Nitro sa nilalaro ko ngayon, MMO. Masyadong magaan yung, ano niya, yung, yung graphics niya. Napanood ko yung HP Regen build mo. Ayun natin. <laughs> Ikaw talaga boss. Yun, thank you so much sa mga nanood boss ha.